All right, in this video, video number five of T's Math Tips, and this is a ratio word problem. This request came from a member over at the Facebook group, the ATIT Study Group. Samantha Pearson and Donna share a sum of money in the ratio of 15 to 16 to 19, respectively. Samantha gets 15 parts, Pearson gets 16 parts, and Donna gets 19 parts of this sum of money. Given that Samantha receives $3,300, how much does Donna receive? So I referred to these pieces earlier as parts. Samantha gets 15 parts. Well, she actually gets 15 fiftieths of the entire amount of money. And where do I get 50 from? That's the sum of these three parts. The sum of the parts make the whole. 15 plus 16 plus 19 gives us that denominator of 50. Pearson's going to get 16 fiftieths of the entire amount of money, and Donna's going to get 19 fiftieths of the entire amount of money. If we add up all three of these fractions, we have the whole amount of money. Now, we don't know in this problem right now how much money was there to be dispersed. All we know is that Samantha received $3,300. Well, $3,300 is this fraction of the entire amount of money that was distributed to him. Well, if we take 15 and divide by 50, that's going to give us 0.3, which actually corresponds to 30%. These are actually some rather nice percentages or decimals that we get here. 16 divided by 50 is going to be 0.32, which is 32%. And then last but not least, 19 divided by 50 is going to be 0.38, which corresponds to 38%. All I'm doing there is dividing these numbers. 19 divided by 50 is 0.38. And then if you move your decimal two places to the right, you can convert that decimal to a percent. Now let's check out this question here. We know that Samantha receives $3,300. Well, we also know now that Samantha got 30% of the entire amount of money that was distributed to the three individuals. Therefore, this question is what should pop up. $3,300 is 30% of what? So now we have this common proportion that maybe you have heard of before. Is over of equals percent over 100. $3,300 is, that's gonna be our numerator. Of what? No idea, so I'm gonna put a variable in the of spot, and then we know we have 30%, I'm gonna put that 30 over 100. 30 out of 100 actually represents 30%. If you divide 30 divided by 100, you will get that decimal there. So just make sure you drop the percent symbol when you actually write 30 over 100 right there. Let's cross multiply and divide to solve for x. You always multiply the two numbers that you can multiply together, and then you always divide by the number that's going to get multiplied by the variable. Now I've put this extra step in here to show you the cross multiplying. X times 30, there's our 30X. 3,300 times 100 is this 330,000. Now this extra step in here, hopefully you would be skipping this with time to save time on the T's test. But um, I did mention, you know, we're going to divide by 30 because we're trying to get X by itself. And the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So that's why we're doing that over here. And dividing 330,000 divided by 30, we get $11,000. Now, what does this number represent? This represents the entire sum of money that is meant to be distributed to these three individuals. $11,000 is going to get broken up into parts, and it's going to be given to Samantha, Pearson, and Donna. Now, we don't really need to do anything with Pearson because we know how much Samantha got. We used that to figure out what was the total amount of money that was dispersed to all three of them, the sum of all of those disbursements. And now we want to figure out how much Donna received. So we can go back to this same setup here, is over of equals percent over 100. We know Donna's percent is going to be 38%, so I'm going to write that as 38 out of 100. Notice I'm referring back to this ratio piece that we built and eventually converted to a percent. We don't know what the is part is for Donna. This is the question that we're asking ourselves now. What is 38% of the total amount of money to be dispersed? So we don't know what the is part is. What is, no idea, put a X of $11,000. So I'm gonna put my 11,000 in the denominator. Cross multiply, 38 times this, 
then we divide by 100 because the 100 is going to be the number that's getting multiplied by x now. So I'm putting that extra step in here for reference again. I'm taking the 38 times the 11,000. That gives you 418,000. Cross multiplying the other way, we have 100x. And now we want to get that x by itself. So that's why I was saying to divide by 100. And a little shortcut here for dividing by 100. I can cancel out these zeros since they match up. I'm canceling out two at the top and two at the bottom. So we have 4,180 over one, which is simply going to be $4,180. That's gonna be the value of X in this problem. That is going to be how much money Donna is going to get, $4,180. Now that is the solution to our problem. How much does Donna receive? We figured that out right there. But let me show you some shortcuts real quick. Once we did find the total amount of money that was going to be dispersed to all three individuals, which was the $11,000, check this out. If I take 30%, that's .30, of the total amount of money, $11,000, 11 and then three zeros, notice I get 3,300. We knew that's how much Samantha received. Even though Pearson's piece here, like finding out how much Pearson received, that is unnecessary for this problem, let's go through and repeat this again. Let's find 32%.32 of, let's multiply, $11,000. Pearson gets 3,520. And now let's apply a shortcut and let's find 38%. 38%, that's Donna. We figured out the 4180 over here, but check out how fast we can do this. 38% of the total amount dispersed, which was $11,000. And notice we do get the same answer of 4,180. Not only that, check this out. And then if we come back and add up all of these disbursements individually, 3,300 plus the other two, Notice we do sum back to that total amount of money that is being dispersed to the three individuals. But with all that said, we do want to find how much Donna did receive. That was the $4,180. But I wanted to go over some shortcuts. And the biggest shortcut here is this. When you want to find a percentage of a number and you know the percent and you know the number, like right here in red, we wanted to find 38% of 11,000. You can skip all this junk and you can just take 0.38 and you can multiply it by 11,000. We could not do that shortcut back here because we knew the percentage of we didn't know what to multiply by. Well, maybe you notice what you would do here is actually the opposite. You would end up dividing here. 3,300 divided by 30%, that will take you to that $11,000. That can be a little bit confusing. I do have some other videos on percentages and uh, proportions and cross multiplying and stuff like that. Feel free to check them out over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.